Welcome back to Trico's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about oil sampling. Taking an oil sample is like getting your blood drawn before you go see a doctor. They both contain important information about the fluid itself and about the equipment that it's running. The goal of oil sampling is comprised of three parts. The first part is to maximize the data density. That's to get as close to the working lubricant as possible. The second is to minimize the data disturbance. You don't want to corrupt the sample in any way, keeping the integrity of the sample intact. And the third is that you want to sample at the proper frequency. This allows analysts to trend the data and allows them to see things before they happen. There are several different ways to take an oil sample from a piece of equipment. There's dip, there's drop tube methods, uh, but we prefer to use oil sampling ports and pitot tubes. Sampling ports allow for a clean extraction of an oil sample and allows you to take a sample from the same point at every time. Pitot tubes are even better because they allow you to get right into the working area of the lubricant. Let's take a look at the things we'll need to take a proper oil sample. We have our sample bottle labels. Next is our sample bottles, a lint-free cloth, a vacuum pump, the disposable tubing, and our sample port adapter. We'll start by properly filling out the information on our label to match the equipment and the oil we are sampling. We'll then cleanly apply it to one of the sample bottles. Next, we need to connect the sample port adapter to our disposable tubing and connect the other end of the tubing to our vacuum pump and tighten down the fitting. These are now ready to go out in the field and take our sample. So let me show you some examples of where you can take your oil samples from. You'll find sample ports on the hydraulic reservoir kit, on bulk storage tanks. There are two sample ports on the handheld filter systems. There are inlet and outlet sample ports on the drum pump filter head as well. And lastly, on the filter cart systems, there are pre-filter sample ports as well as a post-filter sample port. So here we have a gearbox with a sample port on it, and we're going to show you how to take a sample. And this process will be the same for any piece of equipment using a sample port. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at our bottle label and make sure it matches our ID label that's on the piece of equipment. Using the lint-free cloth, we are going to clean off the sample port of dirt and contaminants. Then we'll open up our sample bottle and screw it onto the vacuum pump. Remove the sample port's cap and screw the sample port adapter into the sample port. And then we can begin pumping to create a vacuum in the bottle to draw the oil into our sample bottle. If necessary, keep pumping until the oil fills up to about two-thirds of the bottle. At that point, we will press a pressure relief valve to release the vacuum. We can remove the bottle from the pump and unscrew the sample port adapter. Don't forget to recap the sample port. Then we'll cap our bottle, place it in the box with the rest of our samples, and send it off to our oil analysis lab. That wraps up this video on oil sampling. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.